Welcome to the north coast of the Dominican Republic. Phil here from DR Property Guys, and today we are in the well known and very famous resort of Playa Dorada. And we're going to take you for a quick look round, but we want to talk to you a little bit about the history of Playa Dorada and talk about the changes that are happening here. So, the concept of the resort of Playa Dorada came together in the early 1970s and it was found on 7,000 hectares of prime beachfront location. There's a beach here of 1.9 kilometers. It really is a very beautiful place. Now, during the process of development, during the mid-1970s, the golf course here was established, which is a Robert Trent Jones golf course. And it's a very nice course and it's in great condition today. And slowly and surely, all of the hotels grew around it. And this really became the spark of tourism here in the Dominican Republic. This is really where tourism began. And the other famous point about Playa Dorada is that this is really where the concept of all-inclusive hotels began. Playa Dorada is located 15 minutes west from Puerto Plata International Airport and is just on the periphery of Puerto Plata City. The first hotel to open here was the famous Jack Tar Village and Casino and that was back in 1980 and it was named after the Jack Tar sailors of British descent. Now that was the first of an anticipated 10 hotels that were eventually surpassed within the Playa Dorada area. Playa Dorada became known and became famous as the first all-inclusive resort in the world and at that time it attracted travelers from all over the world. Back in the day you couldn't get a room here for love or money. There were overbookings all over the place. This whole area was full. The casinos were busy, the nightclubs were busy. There really was an incredible ambience here back in the day. And I know because I was here. With the success of Playa Dorada as an all-inclusive resort, it seemed that the whole world wanted to know the secret, how it worked, what made it happen, and everyone kind of jumped on board. Now, the biggest secret to all-inclusive is having larger hotels, and this is where the business really transferred from Playa Dorada down to the East Coast, where you'll find Punta Cana and larger hotels were built with a capacity in excess of 2,000 rooms, which meant that they could operate more effectively. And so consequently, the business moved from Playa Dorada down to Punta Cana. The resort of Playa Dorada needed to reinvent itself. And from the time when the business moved from the north coast to Punta Cana, slowly it made its transition. Right now there are eight hotels here in Playa Dorada with 3,000 rooms and five condo projects with 1,500 rooms bringing employment to 3,000 people and it's anticipated that this will grow in the future. All of this being said, Playa Dorada is still a great place to invest. There are lots of things to do here. As I mentioned, there's a golf course, there's a fit trail with outdoor gymnasium, there's tennis, you have a variety of bars and restaurants, 
and water sports, paddle boarding, you name it, is all here. And generally, it's quieter during the weeks, as you can see, and gets a little bit busier during the weekends. With Puerto Plata just 15 minutes away, you have a whole host of things that you can do. There's the cable car to the top of Mount Isabel de Torres. There's the Malacón and the Fort of San Felipe. There's the Dama Agua waterfalls, all things that are unique to this particular part of the Caribbean. So you're never short of things to do. And with that, we'll leave you with some beautiful views of the coastline and the area. And you can see for yourselves how this part of the Dominican Republic has continued to develop.